Hello there everyone, Hippocat here again and we're continuing to play Morrowind. Today is 28th of Heartfire, the 44th day and it's 6am. We are starting to play. Uh, I, I, I really don't remember what I was doing in the earlier video, so uh, I'll have to figure that out. I remember that I wanted to get into Telvany Council House to talk about that ghost. Oh, I'm so what go ahead. Can Jeet do for you? So yeah, I would like to thank DJ Gamer for giving me instructions on how to actually get to Telvany Council House, and even drawing the yes, map. You have my attention. You wish to speak. The map was awesome, so thank you very much, DJ Gamer. Uh, let's. Uh, all of you are too loud. Maybe I should lower the volume of my speakers. Uh, no, I won't do that. Yeah, the game is loading very slowly for some reason. Slower than usually. Ah, uh, it's raining. So, 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 Delvany Council House. Uh, let's see if I remember where it is. It should be that way, I think. Do I know you? Yep, I think that's it. Now I need to remember who do I need to talk to. And yeah, I guess we stole that Grandmaster Retort already, so we can complete this quest and get a new one, hopefully. Uh, let's see... Arara Uvulas, Mage Mistress. Okay. Here it is, Council House. I hope I won't have to fly again. I really hope I won't have to do that. Uh, you are not the one I need, about? but maybe you can help me. Let's see. Someone in particular? Uh, okay. Delvany Council House. Well, right now I'm in the entry. I think. Uh, I'm not sure how to check that, whatever. Yeah, I think that was entry. So let's walk around a bit. See if we can steal something here. This council house has very weird geometry, I need to say. Okay, there is a guy. This leads to chambers. Miraso Seran. Brown Make Book of quick, Third Era 426. Oh, lists the current members of the council, uh, yeah. We'd probably need that if we were to join House Hlalo, but of course we do not want that, because we are already a member Good of... Play Outlander. I haven't much time. Did I just say House Hlalo? I wanted to say House Telvany, and we are a member of House Hlalo already. And you're not the guy I need. Well, I don't need a guy, she's a girl, right? Arara Uvulas. Yeah, I think that's a girl. 
Well, it doesn't seem like I can steal anything here, so... Let's go somewhere else, like here. Mm. Cool stuff. Staff. I like it. I don't really need it. Oh, wait. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, um, and I'm mispronouncing words for some reason. Oh yeah, record one freaking video in Russian and forget how. Oh, and forget how to speak English. I can tell. Shut up! I just wanted to say that I mistook this lesser soul gem for a propylon index, and also I thought that that's a um, glass staff. Because it's green, but that's because of an enchantment. And I'm just saying bullshit. Shopping for enchantments. Not really. What's this? I'm listening. Go ahead. Just some paper. Twenty nine twenty first fall. I I think I was trying to get all these books, but not gonna steal. From here, it's too dangerous. Should I like check the chambers? Why not? Maybe there will be more opportunities to steal something. Well, that's weird. Who's that supposed to be in that banner? Looks like Dagoth War, really. That's strange. Well, if we find some powerful mage who is worshipping Dagathor, that would suck. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. So, what are you guys doing here? Speak, Traveler! Welcome to our little Alm Civi Chapel. Pardon our informal surroundings, but we are guests here of House Telvany, and apparently they have no more spacious well lit accommodations available for the Temple Faithful. Still, we have all the services you'd expect to find a much larger, larger temple. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't really understand what's that supposed to be. It doesn't look like Vivek. It <laughs> doesn't look like Almalexia. Um, by the way, I wonder how her name is pronounced correctly. Almalexia? Almalexia? I don't know. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Almalexia? Books? Shrine? Go ahead. This leads to. Sadrith Mora, Telvani Council House, Hermitage. What's a Hermitage? I don't know, let's check. Holy sh. Whoa, whoa, that's impressive. I want to explore this place. For some reason I have a feeling that we might be able to find a piece of Daedric armor here, but I'm really not sure. Maybe it was a similar area in Tribunal. Or maybe I'm just going completely crazy. I don't know. Ow, ow, I don't want to fall down. God damn. Ah, okay, let's get out of the water. Okay, fine. Who are you? Yes, Outlander. Lunella Hleran. What are you doing here? Uh, join House Telvany? No, I don't think so. But who are you, actually? Oh, she's an enchanter. Oh, that's that's interesting. 
She knows a lot about Nerevar. I guess that's worth reading aloud, so here we go. When the Dunmer followed Veloth to Morrowind, there were many warring clans, with no law or leader in common. One Dunmer warlord, Nerevar, had the ambition to rule all the Dunmer. In that time, House Dwimmer were great enchanters, so Nerevar went in secret to a Dwimmer smith and asked for an enchanted ring that would help him. The ring gave its wearer great powers of persuasion. For safety, it was enchanted to instantly kill anyone who wore it except Nerevar. The ring was called Moon and Star, and it helped Nerevar unite the various clans into the First Council. Later, however, disputes over religion divided the council, with House Dwimmer and House Dagoth on one side and all the other houses on the other. Dumak and Tagoth invited Orc and Nord clans as allies and held Northwest Morrowind, while Nerevar mustered the other houses and nomad tribes and marched to meet the Dwimmer Dagoth Westerner forces. The armies met at Red Mountain at Dwimmer stronghold. The Dwimmer were defeated and terrible sorceries were used, resulting in the utter extermination of House Dwimmer, House Dagoth and their allies. Nerevar died after the battle and his ring was lost, but Nerevar's alliance survives in Morwin's ruling political institution, the Grand Council. Whoa, that's actually interesting, some info about disappearance of the dwarves. So she says that they were killed by some powerful magic. I always thought that they were experimenting with some shit and like killed themselves. Hmm, that's interesting. And by the way, about Moon and Star Ring, we'll see it in the future. The enchanted ring called Moon and Star, or One Clan Under Moon and Star, as the Ashlanders call it, was forged by uh, was forged for the hero Nerivar by one of the Dwimmer sorcerer priest Kagrinak Smith, and blessed by the Deidre Lord Azura. The ring gave Nerevar supernatural powers of persuasion and indisputable proof of identity, since any other who tried to wear the ring would be killed instantly. I wonder what she thinks about Nerevarin. Well, the same stuff, we know that already. Well, thank you! Thank you very much. You are an interesting NPC. That's her surprise. Hmm, I wonder if we can find anything underwater. Uh, I don't really see anything worth my attention. And I'm <laughs> afraid to drown, so not gonna swim around too much here. Now, how do I get out? I forgot already. Oh, that's a uh, ladder. Here we go, here we go. I wonder what's up there. Oh, I can actually go up. That's cool. Or wait, that's that's the exit. Uh, I I don't want to waste a levitation potion. There might be something hidden over there, but no, no. I don't want. Well, that was a nice detour, but we listen, we but still have to find Arara Uvalas or whatever her name is. Really, Tilvani have fucked up architecture. Well, 
I'm not even sure you can call this architecture because their buildings are kind of organic. Well, at least they seem organic. Like they are not really built, but they are... They just grow under the influence of some magic and stuff. I don't know. So, um... There's someone watching me. I can tell. Telvany Council House, and that's the exit. Yeah, let's go through this door. 